So this, I'm going to do a really abbreviated version of a talk that I give um, to try and introduce why I'm here, why you're here, and why Red Hat is here. And I call this talk, really, um, OpenShift Commons and the Search for Connections Across the Cloud Native Ecosystem. And today, we're going to do the AI edition of that. Um, and I didn't even say who I was. So my name is Diane Mueller. Um, I am the Director of Community Development for OpenShift and for the OpenShift ecosystem, the cloud platform group. And I basically um, run this thing, community called OpenShift Commons, which I would highly encourage you to join. Um, it is our way of connecting you to your peers across um, the whole ecosystem. And you're, you can join. There's no cost to join. We have a Slack channel, all kinds of other good stuff. Um, and that's really my job today, is to help you connect with each other um, and to make the connections you need going forward to be successful in this ecosystem to help your data scientists, if, if you're in, on the infrastructure side or if you're a data scientist, to connect you with your infrastructure service providers and make that happen. So I'm just going to take a step back. I'm going to run a short video. And the reason why I have this video, and I'm very pleased we do, is that a lot of people go, Red Hat, AI, ML, what are we doing here? Um, and I really have um, not, um, not purposely not tried to say we are experts in ML and AI. What we are is really trying to help you build the platform um, and build the services and create the catalogs of services that you need to do that. And I think this video actually will help. So I'm going to cue that up. Let's see if I can do this successfully.
hopefully that set the stage a little bit, and it touched on about a half dozen topics that we're going to cover off today um, in deeper and in depth. So what I'm going to try and do is, um, is help all of us navigate this incredibly complex AI landscape and invite a number of the people who are part and parcel of this onto the stage today to um, really help you um, figure out where the pieces and parts are that you need, um, that you can use and deploy, and make that happen. Um, normally at a community event, we really focus on the open source side of things, and almost every one of the players is either has an open source version of their offering or is built on key pieces of the open source um, from the open source world like Spark or Kubeflow and stuff like that. So it's really a nice mesh um, in AI and ML of people working together. And this is really what our ethos is in the commons. It's really all about having the open source ethos and sharing and collaborating together, creating open communities of which this is one. Um, and doing our collaboration together and making those connections. And today is all about <clears throat> making those connections. At Red Hat, you know, you've probably, if you've ever been to a Red Hat thing before, you'll see this wonderful diagram about um, the DNA. It's you know, open source is in our DNA. It's part of the way that we work and all. But I would actually say that in this very busy landscape, it's much more like jellyfish. And I'll explain why a little bit. Because if you take Explode and use some of those wonderful tools everybody are doing to do network analysis and Explode the relationships between the different projects that are the underpinnings of Kubernetes, of all of the different um, cloud native projects in the, underneath the cloud native foundation and how we connect. Each one of these dots is a person. And each one of these people, many of the project, are correlated and, really, and are connected in some way. And so really what we're trying to do here with the commons is create very highly connected communities and give you new community models, new ways to talk and do work together. And that's what we do with OpenShift Commons. OKD is the open source version of it. That is our Kubernetes distribution that, is, that powers all of the OpenShift um, products offerings. Um, it's all out there in GitHub. And what I like to say is that OKD is a function of Kubernetes plus everything else, plus the stuff coming from Profit Store and Azure and Databricks and Celadon and um, Cogscale and all of our sponsors and all of the other people who are presenting in micro, uh, super micro. It's all of that. Plus, it's all the people who are working across the Kubernetes landscape and different working groups and making that happen plus all of the projects that are out there in the, the cloud native space, plus this new thing called the operator framework, which brings us to a lot of the services that we're going to talk about today that are hosted in Operator Hub and can be found in um, OCP, the Open, OpenShift um, on-prem version. But that landscape is very, very busy. And so once we add, and I haven't done the, the anal haven't run the analysis to add all of those landscape folks, but you can imagine what it's going to look like trying to navigate all of those. And what we're trying to do today um, is build a community around Open Data Hub, around ML. We have a, a wonderful machine learning SIG. We're meeting on Friday after this, and I think um, the, the, fo the gentleman from um, Peter Hack from. Um, Dynatrace, who works on open telemetry, is going to be presenting on Friday. So if you're around, um, that, that'll be virtual, it'll be easy to do. So as I say, it's all about jellyfish. If you think about the tentacles and how they reach out and touch and it is amorphous and everything, I think this is the best metaphor for the way that we connect, separate, new projects come in. But the interesting thing about jellyfish that I found out, because um, I like jellyfish, is that though there are 20,000 named jellyfish, so on that AI landscape that's so very, very busy, there are hundreds of things that we know about. Um, and there are a few things that we know that we don't know enough about. So some of the folks who are here, I don't know enough about your stuff. But there are over 300,000 other jellyfish out there that haven't even been named yet. So you have an opportunity if you're scuba diving and see something strange, um, you can name a new jellyfish probably. So today what we're going to try and do is take a deep dive on a few of those things and give you the basis to go off and try them. 
And what we're also going to try and do is give you some facial recognition of the players and the people who are contributing to these projects. So my goal today for you all is to meet new people. So if you're sitting with people you already know, please, over the lunch breaks, during the coffee breaks, in the reception this evening, make sure you introduce yourself to everybody here. It's not a huge room. You ought to be able to make some new friends today. But this is really key. It's like we spend a lot of time in a virtual world on Slack and IRC, on chat everywhere, whatever chat channel you are. This is your opportunity to really meet people and connect and share some new ideas. So um, it's a wonderful world out there. There's lots of beautiful jellyfish we're going to hear about today. I'm going to stop talking because I think I probably went over a few minutes, but that's hopefully given everybody in traffic time to, to get here. Um, and I'm going to invite our keynote speaker, um, Jeff, Jeffrey, Jeff Daniels is what I was going to say.